Hi again, everybody. Today, we'd like to uh, explain how to do a, um, a light follow and lead compared to a very heavy uh, or rigid uh, follow and lead, okay? So first of all, we're going to talk about the three levels of rock steps. There are various rock steps depending on how good a dancer you are as you progress through your, um, uh, through your levels in your dance. Now first of all, when we start, we actually do a rock step, okay? So we're just going to do um, our swing, bum, 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 rock step. Bum, 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 rock step, okay? So we do that because it's easy. We try and first give things that are easy. It's not the, the best dancing, but it gets people going. So at our beginning levels, we actually do a back and forth rock step. Now, once you get used to that and you want to improve your, uh, your movement, we don't do a rock step. We do an in place step. So this time, okay, leaders, you're going to put your left foot back, followers, your right foot back, and we're just going to change weight. So you remember, there we go, right, so that's a better rock step. You don't yank and pull on the partner. There we go, back step, so it's more in place, that foot just a little back, okay? So, and when you do that, uh, you can put your heel down, but a lot of times, you want to keep your, if you remember, you're always trying to keep your center over your front knee. If you hit the ball of your foot, you're able to do that a little better. If you hit the heel of your foot, sometimes your seat bounces back and forth, and for a split second, you're off balance. So we find it better if you hit mostly ball, and your seat stays still. As your knees just pump, then you're in place. So then we do the same thing. We go triple step, triple step in place. So I'm still giving her a little push here, and we'll talk about that later. Push, boom. But that's only, uh, we're going to have the very next uh, video we're going to do after that. We actually push with our body into to, uh, the partner, and it tells her to go back. Okay, but when we go back, we really don't let our bodies go that far back and forth like we did with the beginning one. We actually went, we pushed, and we actually went back and forth. You could actually see it. When we're here, we feel it. Boom. I push, and once she... And what's happening, I push my body, which is my, sort of my left shoulder, into hers, and we build that pressure, and that tells her to go. But then she just goes back a little bit, and she does her in-place step. See the difference? So we build pressure. One, a two, build the pressure, push, pull. One and two, build the pressure, bump, bump. Okay? So you can see a little bit of a back forward movement, but mostly it's done pretty much in place. And that's your, your second level. Now there is a, uh, another level where it actually makes you um, lighter and more energetic, and that is to push forward, okay? Now, to practice this, well, let's, let's demonstrate it first. This time, we're gonna go triple step, triple step, rock, push forward, triple step. This is handy, rock, push forward. If we go into an underarm turn, rock, push forward, da, 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 da. Now that keeps us from being too heavy, okay? And we're gonna talk about that in a second, but let's get you doing it first, okay? So leaders, again, your left foot. Now here's how you practice this, to get an energy for your rock step. The rock step is more of a change of direction than anything else. So what happens to practice, hit your ball of your foot pretty much together and push yourself forward. Ball, push forward, ball, push forward, okay? And Danny's gonna do the followers part. Push forward, together, push forward, push. Now we're going to do it real big. Push, push, push. Now, of course, you'd never. <laughs> See ya. OK. So of course, we'd never do it that big. That's a practice exercise. Now, what happens, and we're going to talk about this in depth a little bit more in the next video. But when we do the rock step now, we go triple step, triple step, push. Now, even though I pushed back on the hand, when we hit that foot, we actually pushed a little bit forward. So now you can barely see it, but the energy is there. It brings us slightly forward. And that makes the big difference between a, um, a light um, connection or a heavy connection. So if you pull and you push off the floor at the same time, you're light. If you don't, then we have to yank on each other and pull each other back and forth. See the difference? So here, if you go triple step, triple push, push. So when I let her go, she pushed forward a little bit, very light. And, then we, and like I said, it works even better triple if we're doing underarms 
Triple step, triple step, push forward. That's it. Let's exaggerate it, Danny. Triple step, triple step, push forward. Triple step, triple step, push forward. Triple step, triple step, push forward. Right. A lot of light energy, OK? We're complementing each other's uh, movements. We get going by each other. And it's uh, very energetic, a lot of inner energy without uh, uh, wearing yourself out, OK? So keep that in mind. And we're going to come back in a second. And we're going to uh, apply this to, um, uh, to doing our, our rock step and getting a good connection from our body. OK, so we'll see you in a little bit. See ya.